Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Dead Cells. We're doing reasonably well so far, actually. Uh, I mean, you know, that unnecessary hit. Notwithstanding. And that one. But, I mean, overall. All told, life is treating us in a generally positive direction. I'll have that floor kebab. All right, and then not so bad, not so bad. All right, let's see here. No stat upgrades, so I don't care about you whatsoever. Stat upgrade? Yes, please. All right. As usual, we'll go for a strength build. I mean, it occurs to me... Well, I guess if we get the right items, we could try, like, a skill-focused build. I've never really tr attempted that before. I have heard that, you know... I guess the problem is I just feel like most of the active abilities, like, by themselves aren't, uh, aren't sufficient. I mean, having high s having a high skill is not bad. I mean, I suppose combining it with just a couple of bombs and you could actually pretty much get a run just on that. So, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being too hard. Totally thought I'd be able to kill him, but I was wrong, as I sometimes am. There's also something that the sound of that of that third kick when I like do the roundhouse on him. There's something about that it just rubs me the wrong way. I don't know what it is, but there's something about the sound. Like, I guess it sounds like I'm hitting a tin can or something on that third strike. I guess maybe. Like, the sound needs more, like, blood, like, more bone crunching. I guess. Maybe. Maybe that's my problem with it. Needs more, needs more blood and guts to make me feel alive. Or something like that. Which says a lot about me and modern society. More blood. More death. More entertainment. And so on. Part of me says I should keep that shield. Part of me says, and eh, never mind. And we've already found our allotted stat upgrades for this level, so we might as well just move on with our lives. Hopefully there's a cool item in the ossuary. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. I mean, actually, this ossuary shop is probably... Also, I upgraded this off-camera. Or bought the spike boots off-camera, rather. I mean, the ossuary shop is probably one of the few shops where I'd actually feel... the need to actually spend my money, and of course, uh, this shop gave me nothing. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll get this. We're probably gonna need that because we have a crap weapon, crap strength, and you know we're going into like a tier free level. A tier free level is probably on, is probably only at like two and a half at best. Uh, currently. Oh, you had. Why do you always troll me with the health game? I don't want your health. I don't want your help. I don't want your charity. I want you to give me nothing but strength and power. I think we should go right to the Black Bridge and then Fog Fjord. Skip the Sepulcher. I mean, I do like fighting a uh, old man incomplete one, but uh, at the same time... At the same time, I mean, he's not... Oh, are you kidding me? I don't want a health build. Health builds are useless unless unless they add an item that, uh, and this would be pretty cool in my opinion, if they add an item that, or maybe like a modifier where damage is multiplied by, or actually like if you had a sword where it's like your health determines your damage instead or something, or if there was, uh, or if there was like a random room where you could like reroll your stats or something, you know, like you spend like 10,000 cells and it just randomly reassorts re your stats. Which, you know, that would be cool. Kind of like the uh, dice room in Binding of Isaac. That's my thoughts on the matter anyway. That would be cool. I can't think of any other games off the top of my head where you can re-roll your stats partway through a run, but I mean, I'm sure there's other games that do it. Just... Binding of Isaac is the one that 
immediately comes to mind when I think of stuff like that. Oh, come on. That was a double whammy. Of pain. And I did not need that in my life. I mean, you delivered it to me most expertly, but, uh, hello, sir. Oh, God. I'm gonna try to regain a tiny bit of my dignity from that one. And, uh, you know, it was of, uh, some... Some effect. Whoop, and whoop, and away we go. Oh, whoa, no, 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 down, down, down. Silly game. Silly game whose jump button occasionally, occasionally gets stuck. Which is my fault, really. Stupid cheap gaslight won't shell out the, like, what? How much does a controller cost these days, anyway? Probably not that much. Alright, you know what? We're gonna fight this guy, even though... You know, it's probably not the best idea. Oh, good job, Gaslight. Yeah, suck on... You know what? It's been a while since we've used the Rapier. It used to be like the God King of Weapons. Not anymore. It's actually... It's actually a shell of its former self. What man would want the Rapier now? Apparently me, because I'm using it. Ah. Uh, I cannot tell you how much it actually physically hurts me that the game gave me in that chat, or in that time door. It gave me two frickin' two health upgrades. Did not want, do not need. Zero out of ten, no stars. Or, you know, something dramatic like that. Okay. Free ground kebab. Oh man, do you remember the days when the rapier was like the single most overpowered weapon in the game? Pepperidge Farm remembers. It's probably a lame joke as well, by the way, but I'm gonna keep making it every now and then. Mostly because I can. Which is not exactly like the best reason to do anything in life, but it's the reason I go by. Oh god. You dicks! You're all... Alright, in for a penny. Okay. I don't like any of you. I just want you to know that! And by any of you, I'm referring to those slug things, not anyone in the audience. That would be... Rather, rather... Oh dear. Rather a silly thing, actually. Gosh, I feel so weak. Very weak indeed. In fact, we have missed the... Wait, is there even a time door in the sepulcher? No, I don't think there is. Is there? Is there? No, 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 no. Go screw yourself. And, yeah, other words. Is this double fire grenade? Double fire grenade? We are... I mean, that's... I like... There's something about that that makes me very excited. The idea of a world... Full of nothing... Of an entire world... Burning. There's something beautiful about that. Maybe. Possibly. I feel too weak to feel like we're justified... Wait, is there a time door in this sepulcher? I feel like there is. Keep going back and forth on that, I can't be sure. Okay, that leads down to the Black Bridge, probably, but we might as well go down there, just in case there's... Just Black Bridge, just Black Bridge. I mean, we're not in bad shape, but we're not in good shape. I mean, four strength going into the Sepulcher, that's actually gross. So I want to see if... Maybe, if we're really lucky, we can find a store that'll be selling a stat upgrade. Preferably one that gives us whatever we want. Nah, I'm not gonna take the meat grinder. Double fire grenades is so much better. Because it lets me achieve my dream of setting the world on fire. Or at least, uh... Ah, there we go. That's good. Wait, wait, what's this? Plus one, plus one health. 
Oh, game, you... You... You and your... Your classic pranks, giving me health when all I want is strength. I mean, I guess the game is saying that it cares about me. It doesn't want me to die. But I wish the game would also understand that I'm a grown man capable of making my own decisions and that I don't need a game telling me how to live my life. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll upgrade you. Just like we'll upgrade everything else, you know. Gotta, gotta do that, make the spiked boots very spiky and boot-like. Alright, so, our goal is gonna be to get rid of the rapier, first of all. I mean, when it got nerfed, it got nerfed hard. Of course, then again, we've been kind of under strength for where we are, so maybe, maybe I've been undervaluing, undervaluing the rapier's place in the world. Oh, there is actually a time door, and the time door is ten minutes. And the game is giving me strength. I kind of wonder. Like, I suppose if I picked apart the game files, I could probably find out. I mean, I don't actually know necessarily how I'd go in and do that, but I know I could, probably. And, uh... There's just a part of me that wonders if, like, the game... Oh. Yeah. You know what? Never mind. I... I... Resigned my commentary. Rapier. The rapier still got it. Don't you dare. Aha! There we go. Screw you, Magic Mike! Boingy, boingy, boingy. All right. Good times. All right, I mean, we're actually... You know what? To heck with it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a challenge room. Or, yeah, I'm gonna call them challenge rooms. Challenge room, challenge area, whatever you want to call it. Oh, well, that... Didn't have quite the effect I was looking for. But it did still do some work, so that's good. All right, wait for it. Ah! Ah, the jump button got stuck again. In fact, the jump button is stuck even now as I speak. That's why I'm not gonna do these challenge doors, or at least that's why I keep telling myself, Gaslight, don't do the challenge doors until you actually get around to buying yourself a new, a new microphone. I wanna buy the Firebrand and the Balance Blade. Uh, the answer is... Ah, what the heck, I'll... No, no, no. We won't. We'll, we won't. We're not gonna buy either of them. Maybe later. Oh. What's that? A plus one health upgrade? I mean, you totally know what I like, game. You totally know what I need. You know it'd be interesting if the balanced blade actually had an ability where if you had all your stats balanced, it like gave you like triple attack or something? Would that be too powerful and would that be too difficult to actually do? I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Like, that would be a- it would be a novelty item. Excuse me, a novelty item at- if nothing else. And novelty items are always fun. I mean, I suppose not for everyone, but... A good- good novelty item here and there. Nothing wrong with that. Eh, you know what, I'll go for it. I mean, the Bow of Infinite Arrow is probably the better choice, but... We're gonna go for it anyway. Mostly because I can. That's basically my only reason for doing anything in this world. Is just, oh, because I can. I actually like the level design here. It's come along very nicely. Very nicely for us. No, no, no! Oh, come on, you could have rolled out of that! Yeah. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad, old man. All right. Yeah. We're. Oh dear. There we go. That's the good stuff. Plus, we get this well placed secret, which will give us a bit of extra. Yeah, a bit of extra life and light and good things. 
Good things are always nice. All right, so far so good. Not my best play. I'm gonna bl actually. I'm gonna blame every single blunder this uh, in this particular this particular run. I'm gonna blame it entirely on my controller. I promised several episodes back I was gonna stop doing that, but I lied apparently. Well, actually, no. In this case, it was because I I honestly I can't justify saying it was just me sucking because at least with that challenge room. In the challenge room, that was totally the controller's fault. Or then again, I suppose one could say it's my fault because I have had plenty of opportunity to just, you know, stop being cheap with my money and just pick up a dang controller. Plus, it also occurs to me, the longer I let this whole thing go on with, oh, I am not buying a controller and whatnot, more people are going to think that maybe I'm... Maybe I'm financially destitute, which is not, not the case. Merely, I am just very tight with my money. Mostly, mostly just because, like I, I've said a couple times now, just but to repeat it, I'm gonna be moving soon, so, or probably moving soon, actually, assuming all goes well. And uh, yeah, so I'm being a little bit frugal, or trying to be a little bit frugal. Till. Okay, let's just uh, ignore all these guys for a second because I would really, really like to get a, a bit of. Are you gonna tell me there's gonna be no light? Okay, there it is. There's the light. Wowzers, Jimmy. Also, I should probably heal up now. Okay, wait for it. There we go. All right, you know what? We're actually damage-wise, I'm happy where we are, so that's good. Nope, not this way yet. Not yet, because every time I do something like that, I always end up regretting it. Let's go this way instead. Of course, I'm probably gonna regret it one way or the other. Hmm. Yeah, let's have a look at our map again. I mean. Oh, well, there's a stat upgrade down there. There's also something on the upper path. Oh, that just leads us to that, which I don't want, because we have literally all the fire in the world. My gut says to go this way. Oh, dear. My gut also said, don't get hit by that guy. Or you'll look as dumb as you feel. Or something like that. Whatever the heck you're talking about, Gaslight, you crazy old man. Who is actually not that old at all. Beautifully done. Oh, finally! Okay, we're kind of in the dark. Okay, that actually worked out somehow. Wait for it. Bust through the door, one-shot him because you're a boss. Don't activate that lantern. As much as you want to, don't activate that lantern. You may need it on the way back. And if I know myself, I'm gonna need it on the way back, because it's gonna turn out this is actually... Or... Oh no, it looks like I actually went the right way. Aha! Right, I knew it. I think I might slowly be, like, in my brain noodle casket thing where all that gray matter is held I may be devising some level of uh, some level of strategy and or knowledge or at least something that can be confused for strategy and or knowledge that will tell me alright hello there spinny man oh god oh god oh come on I aha Set him on fire, set him on fire, and run like hell. Totally didn't need to do that, but I did, so... Alright. Good times, actually. Oh, hello there, Chuckles. Or at least Chuckles' younger, less comedically talented brother. Alright. Alrighty then, and give you a little poke. And then jump back down here to make sure our light is at maximum charge. 
Nicely done. Kill you before coming back for the money. Kill you. Because I can. There we go. You know what? I'm actually remembering why I love the rapier. I mean, it, it's definitely not as good as it used to be. Like, there's no denying that. I think it only gets one critical hit per roll. Whereas it used to get, like, three or four. Which makes sense. I mean, it's it's understandable. I understand why. That's... It was, like, really powerful before, so... You know. Just makes sense. If one item is, like, better than literally every other item in the game, you probably need to rebalance it. Oh, dear. It's getting kind of dark. All right, here's where we play the... Oh, God! The old, the old God game. Whoa, Jimmy! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not done with you yet. All right. That's how it is, really. You always... Yeah, look at that. We're doing, like, 2,000 a critical here. And even... I mean, even if this item is not as good as it used to be, like, the fact that it's still... It's one of the handful of items in the game that let you with literally no difficulty whatsoever. I'm very tempted to actually switch to the Sadistic Dagger. I mean, the Sadistic... Uh, you know what? To heck with it. Let's do it. Do I? Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, it does more damage all around, so... And, uh, all I need to do is set enemies on fire. Oh. God, I'd even... Wait, there's a path back there. And there could be good stuff on that path. I mean, this isn't gonna be a speed run. That's for sure. But, I mean, we're in a position, like... I... Actually, hang on a second. I look at that, and the only thing that's probably gonna lead is the teleporter to the cluster bomb, so never mind. Anyway, but, uh... Yeah. The rapier, the sadistic dagger, and a handful of other items. I also... Or, no. Finish your fraud first, Gaslight. The dagger and the, uh... The oiled sword and... Well, actually, the oiled sword doesn't do a critical, but... The dag... Let's just say the dagger and the, uh... Dagger. The dagger and, uh... The rapier. The rapier. They're the only items... Well, there's a hand... They are among a handful of items that let you get critical hits on demand. And that's very useful, actually. Anyway, now getting back to my other thought regarding the, uh... The, uh, sadistic dagger. It'd be interesting... If uh, you could encounter cultists at some point, maybe they're in. Maybe the cultists are in the archives. I mean, the sadistic cult. Like, you gotta think that's a, gonna be a reference that's gonna be followed up on at some point in the game, right? Maybe, possibly. Man, how many runs are we gonna have to do to unlock all this? I'm not clearly, I'm not playing the game enough. I mean, since I seem to be able to, on a good run, be able to get this down to like just half an hour or so. As long as we go the, through the sepulcher, then, you know, I think we're, we're in reasonable standing. Though, we need, the one thing we need to make sure this is a perfect run, uh, we, we still need, we still need, um, uh, bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Well, we need bubbly, whatever form that takes, and, uh, whatever bubbly is in the context of whatever I'm rambling on about. Uh, alright. Yeah. We need sadistic cults. That's what we need to find. Want to find out, like, I feel like, you know, the fact that there's an item called Dagger of the Sadistic Cult, it's gotta be a hint that there is a sadistic cult. Maybe they're hanging out in the archives or something, you know, doing sadistic cult stuff. Also, I like the fact that every enemy I kill with this dagger poisons all the other enemies around them, which basically guarantees that you kill one enemy and then you get infinite criticals for the rest... the rest of your days. Beautiful. See? See how well that actually works out for us? Nicely done. They try to avoid the spikes. 
difficult task, I know, but I believe in you, Gaslight. And, you know, you should. I mean, you should probably not talk about yourself in the first person, Gaslight, because that's usually not a sign of good mental health, but, uh, you know, whatever rocks your wagon. And I do like a good wagon rocking, whatever the heck that means. Oh my. Oh god. Yoink! Yeah, it hit me harder. Because I'm sadistic that way, apparently. Yuck! And cover. Kinda hoping there's a cursed chest down here now. Mostly just because... There's a lot of, uh, a lot of those little grave zombies. And those grave zombies are really good. Oh, I saw you secret over there. Anyway, yeah, more dead selves is what we need. I also wonder to myself if uh, future levels, like, are gonna allow for even faster paths through the game. Mm, do I want to switch the ice bow for the spiked boots? I mean, I like, I like the sound of that actually. But I'm ultimately not going to do it. Not today. Maybe another run. Maybe in another lifetime. But not today. Also, part of me says... Roll of the way. Get stabbed. Heal up. Because you're not... You're not completely invincible. Now, if only we had something that made our downward tax instantly poison. Or, uh, like set the ground on fire or something. Bouncy. Alrighty then. And what do we have in here? Is it a cursed chest? I could go for a cursed chest right now. It is just... just a vertical ceiling cannon. Not the most exciting item in the game. Well played. Then we'll bounce over here. Once again, look at that repository of the architects that we're not allowed to go to yet because Motion Twin, they're masters. Oh god. Masters in the art of teasing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I like something to look forward to. And something to look forward to is always, well, something to look forward to. And I can't complain about that. I mean, that would be just... Just very ungrateful. Eh, I'm not gonna fight you. If I can avoid it. Which, apparently, I can. Because I don't need to fight you, so I won't. Also, enjoy some delicious floor, uh... Do I need more health? Probably not. A magnet grenade is not bad. Suck all those delicious tentacles into my general vicinity. Almost said into my mouth and then realized that has horrible, horrible innuendous connotations, and then I thought better of it. Alright, now is where we go back and fight all the dudes with the... who release brain bats at us. Let's see here. Where are you? Aha! There we go. Alright, that brings us down to five. And that is why you leave these guys for the end of the game. There was a couple more guys over here somewhere, weren't there? There's a part of me that's terrified that I'm gonna, like, stupidly fall into spikes. Aha! Yeah, if you guys could just, like, burn over there. Yeah, I just need to kill three more. Alright, curse has been lifted, and I literally didn't have... You know what, I might as well go for the money. Delicious, delicious money. All right, let's uh, let's try to speed this up because we're actually at a point where I could probably just rush through this portion of the game and not uh, not worry whether we like min max getting every single stat upgrade. It's a sign of progress. I do like progress. Oh god, you're dead, aren't you? You're gonna die horribly. All right, where is... Hello there. Good old Mr. Archbishop. You are always there. 
when I need you, and when I don't need you. And also, you're great at parties. Man, aren't we powerful? Aren't we amazing? Aren't we totally gonna win this run and there's gonna be no, no, no one who can stop us, probably. Oh god. Well, that was... Alright, I guess I'm gonna kill you now, because... I feel compelled to. I feel compelled to whenever, uh... Those Grave Bats show up, mostly because... They're really hard to get rid of. And I don't want to be running through the rest of this level of Grave Bats chasing me. Because that feels like it would be a waste of all of our time. Holy hell, 110,000 ducats? That's what I'm talking about. We are rich, my friends. You know what, I'm gonna fight you, because I can. Not because I have to, but because I want to. Let's see. Alrighty then. Let's see if I can run away before those grave bats spawn on me. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. Life is but a dream. And we... are on easy street now, my friends. Which is on the corner of Success Avenue and Random Coincidence Lane. Or something like that. Alright. There we go. Ooh. I like it. I mean, we could have bought firebrands earlier, but these are better firebrands, possibly. Plus, they're also infinite, unlike the ice bow. And they also have better anglage, so I can shoot at them or shoot the, uh, shoot the watcher easier. And anything to make my life easier is always welcome. Plus, I can do this, and then that. We have maximum firepower. Alright. I guess I'm gonna kill you, because I... I mean, I can't... I can't see a secret and not... And just not open it. Uh, challenge door. Someday I'm gonna start doing you challenge doors again. But that won't be for a little while. Probably not until the move. At which point, you know. I will get a new controller and... Then all my failures from there on out will be, I will be unable to scapegoat them on anyone but my own incompetence. Haha, -ha, sucker. He's not really a sucker. No, he's just dead, actually. Oh, we're so strong. We're so powerful. We are so amazingly gorgeous, possibly. No. No, not today. Today is not the time. I could probably do it, and someday I will do it. In fact, if I actually beat the Watcher without taking damage this time, I'm gonna feel like an idiot for not doing it with the Cursed Sword. And like, you know, showing how elite I really am. But, uh... You know what? Let, I mean, I've been, I've been exercising a more than healthy amount of hubris in this episode so far, so... Let's not push it. Let's not push it any more than we already have. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. Let's see. Apparently I've been recording for about 34 minutes. Our run is 27 minutes, so apparently I spend a lot of time in the lobby rooms just not doing anything with my life. I mean, that's... that's okay, I guess. Come on down. Come on down, Watcher Man. Come on, baby. Gaslight loves you. And he also wants to kill you. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Joy! Fiery death and or despair. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Aha! Oh, I killed one without even trying. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, yes, so far so good. So far I'm somehow not 
not taking damage. Where are you, Mr. Tentacle? Damn it! <laughs> if I hadn't rolled, I would have got that. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Fastest... Fastest watcher run of all time. Oh, yes. Yes. That is all the win. All of the win. It's like all of the genitalia, you... Genitalia-shaped genticles. It's not very nice to be... Going after the tentacles that way. Okay, okay, here we go. No. Come on, burn, burn, burn. Yes! Yes! That has done it! Alright, as we watch him die, I would just like to say, as always, thank you all for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking, and I will see you on, or see you all, in the next video. Possibly on it as well, who knows.